This is the solution to written homework 10. Okay, evaluate each of the following antiderivatives. <clears throat> okay, well, this, this is an example of perform algebraic steps before calculus steps. So this will be antiderivative of 8t squared divided by 4t cubed and then minus t to 7 divided by 4t cubed dt. So let's simplify these. So as for the first one, I'll simplify that to, well, 8 over 4 is 2. And then t squared over t cubed leaves a t in the denominator. Then minus. Uh, I can see that there will be a 4 in the denominator. So I'll write that uh, as a fourth, one fourth, and then t to seven over t to three, that's t to four, dt. And now each one of these is an antiderivative that you know. So as for that one, that would be two, natural log, absolute value t, and then minus one fourth, and we can use the power rule for that one, t to 5 over 5, and then plus a constant. For part B, ah, for part B, um, notably, the thing that I was trying to trick you up on is that this number right here, this is just a constant. Now it looks kind of funny, and it looks like you might need to do something a little bit uh, more advanced, but it's just a constant. So if that said minus 3, then that would anti-differentiate to negative 3x, because 3 is a constant. Pi to 5 halves is a constant. So the answer is x to 3 halves. Uh, add 1, and then over 3 halves, uh, halves, add 1, and then minus pi to 5 halves, x, and then plus a constant. So that's a constant, and as a result, that's what this looks like. Then I'll simplify this just a little bit. Uh, that'll be x to 5 halves over 5 halves and then minus pi to 5 halves x plus a constant. 